Hi guys, I have a haul to share with you. Um, I have opened the box, but I haven't looked in anything. Um, so we'll open it all together. I'm excited. Another lace haul from Crafty Me Shop. This was an almost week long sale she had during Black Friday. Um, the most fantastic deals she's been doing lately. And um, so it's a big priority box. Uh, it's not like that mystery box. It's I bought individual things uh, throughout the week that I really wanted. So um, we'll look through here and see what we've got. And you guys can join with me here. I'm going to set this box to the side. Now these first two... The second, second two, I should say. The second two, these were um, bulk buys. They're like 12 yards of this, of this one lace. And I had already gotten a little bit of this lace in another sale, so I knew what it was like. And so there's going to be 12 yards of this kind of lace here. And it's a little stretchy. And you could actually e even cut and make two laces out of it if you wanted to. And that's a, I don't know if the camera, it probably looks really blue in the camera, but that's a real light blue. So very useful on the sides of on journal pages and um, things like that. So excited to get that and look how much. That'll last me the rest of my life. So we got that. And then this is another one. <clears throat> I hadn't seen it before. I could just tell. I just bought it off the pictures, so we'll see what it ends up looking like. It looked like a white ruffle to me on the pictures, and I see some sparkles in there. So we'll see what this ends up being in the end. It was another bulk buy of a like about ten or twelve. Ooh, it's got sparkles in it, and it's. Chiffani. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see. They're gold, kind of goldy sparkles or holographic sparkles. Oh, I love it. And real light. This is this is really shabby. Look how much I have of this now. Great. So, oh my goodness. I'm really happy with that one. So, and that's a big bundle of it. So, yay. Okay, now for the bags. Let's see. Which side do I op open up first here? Here it is. And let's see what we have here. There's a sticky on this thing. It's better just to take it all out first so it doesn't stick and then look through it. So... I had gotten one of these collars before in white, and I ended up using um, I ended up using all this part here up already. I just cut it in little snippets. I undid the whole thing, cut different rosettes off of it to use in different projects. I left all these together in one long line, and then I cut this in different lengths of snippets. And I've been using it on the edge of pages, on the edges of all kinds of stuff because it's all fluffy and uh, shabby and then you have a nice rhinestone in there so it's like a collar like this kind of collar like that so I found the one and it was in white and this is in light pink and I found it very useful so I got me one it was a really great price and this um, was normally I had bought it years ago for a way higher price and she had it on sale so I bought some I'm thinking of making some um, doily lace pockets and putting them for sale in my shop so I thought well I need some more dangles so I got that this is some fabric that she had that I was hoping would be good for journal covers it's really hard to find the right fabric for journal covers when you make fabric covers and this looks really good it's got uh, little dots and stuff like that and it's not too see-through and it's not stretchy so I think that'll make good covers. Sometimes it can be a little too see-through and you can see the uh, cardstock backing too much. Um, so I think that's gonna work. 
So I got a yard of that. And then we have different appliques that she had on sale. They're always really, really useful. A lot of these I'll cut up into different sections and use them on different things. Or sometimes I'll put one behind a picture like um, where I brought a journal to show you. Like, uh, like, see, this is a new journal I just put up for sale. I'll put it behind there. That's, that's like an applique that I used. And that's like an applique that I used behind there. So I'll use some of it. Uh, I might cut some of it off and use it for that. So that's good. And then this was like a doll over a yard, I think. And I've been looking at uh, mini albums lately and people doing um, different collages in the front and they're using a lot of this lace and then the ones with the stringy, the net behind it and letting it stick out. It kind of got a shabby thing. So I thought, well, I'll get a bunch of that and cut it off and try to do that shabby thing that they're doing. So some more appliques. These are a little ivory, ivory color. And this one is wider, a little wider. So we got a couple different colors of that. And here's another one. I think I yes, I was gonna say I bought four. I can't remember everything I bought. It was a whole week long thing and oh those are gonna be cute. That looks kinda like snowy Christmassy. So I have another one kind of like this and I really liked it. This one's I don't think the other one has this center thing in it. I love the little dots. So that'll be good. And this was like a dollar a yard. And you can never have too many little flowers. You can do so much with that. And then some blue tuxedo trim. I really like this because I don't sew. And I've tried using a sewing machine. I was horrible at it. And I like sewing in the journals. And I like the uh, ruffles up the page. But since I don't sew, it's hard to make those ruffles. But this kind of tuxedo the ruffles on both sides gathered in the middle. This makes good um, stuff for the edges of pages when you don't sew. So there we go there. And then this one. I just love it all as a May. As usual, it's wonderful. So much fun. So much fun. And what great prices. Thank you so much for the great holiday prices that you gave us. And these, I didn't know what I'd use them for, but I thought they looked really cute. I'm sure I'll figure something out. You know, that might go really good behind the, behind the Marie Antoinette. Sticking out. Give her some bling. You could even cut it in half and then put part of it down here and part of it up there so it kind of sticks out. Because this is like a bronzy gold color. And these all sparkle, all the seed beads. So... And I love getting stuff like this because then I can, then I got to try to figure out what to do with it and create. And it makes me think of creative things to do with it. And I went back and forth on getting these. I couldn't decide if I wanted them. They're very cute. And I thought, well, I could use the whole thing or I could take it apart and use the bow, use that at some place else, and use that someplace else. So they could be very useful. And then she had, um, let's see, she had some red ones. And I went back and forth on those for Christmas. And then she had some like lavender ones. So, and I, before I had gotten some like lavender blue ones. So I do have a couple more. And another one of those collars that I'm finding useful. Now this is a little darker. That is one thing I'll say is when you buy these things on Facebook, a lot of times the picture will look, will uh, look a little lighter and it'll come in a little darker, but this is still a light blue. And I do the same thing. You could get a ton of rosettes out of this thing and ruffles and stuff, this collar. So I'll take it apart and use it in different parts of my journal. A couple more useful appliques. You can always do everything with these appliques and cut pieces off and use them for all kinds of things in your collaging and um, fronts of covers and things like that. Ooh, and this is one I went back and forth on too. Look how many. That is really cool. See, I love gray and that is very cool. I was probably thinking about going to cut each rosette out, but I really like, this is like one flower here, and then this is a big flower right here, and another, I'd probably just leave the little flower like that. And the way you can see the dark on the inside, 
is very, very cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And some more tuxedo uh, trim with very, very sparkly uh, there and then an edge in silver. This is great. Christmas. And it's good for Marie Antoinette sparkly stuff too. So, and you can go down the side of a page with that really easily. You can even cut this in half and use one half for one and one half for another. That's another thing you can do with those. So useful. And a white rosette. Oh, this bow. I saw this bow a long time ago and I wanted to get one. But I kept thinking, what would I do with that big old bow? And uh, it was a really great price. So I went ahead and got one. And I think you could do a lot with this bow. I don't think it fit on the front of a journal cover. Maybe if you cut it off a little bit. But even these, these are like little rosettes, kind of. You could cut those out of there. So, and I think I just heard a bead drop, so I might have lost one of them. I'll have to go look. A pearl. A pearl and two more appliques. So there we go. That's my haul. That's the shiny side. That's my haul from Crafty Me Shop. If you haven't uh, seen her shop, she's actually started to do... Um, a couple YouTube videos uh, with her shop and she's saying that she's going to do a sale on YouTube. I'll like link her YouTube in this um, description thing and then if you want to actually go to the shop you have to go onto Facebook and request to be a member and if she accepts you then you can come for the sales. They're usually approximately once a week uh, usually on Friday but sometimes Saturday and Sunday she'll, she'll tell you and um, it's a lot of fun and so Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope your holiday crafting is going wonderful. Take care.